plaintiff, Troy Brace, met the defendant at a club. And 15 minutes after she gave Troy her number, she gave her number to another man. Troy claims he still pursued the defendant and they started dating. But a week before they were supposed to go to Miami for his birthday, they broke up. He's suing her for the cost of airplane tickets. Defendant Leah Fowler admits that she gave her number to Troy and another man the first night they met, but insists she was more interested in Troy. Leah claims Troy would constantly talk to and dance with other women while they were dating, and she denies owing Troy for the plane tickets. Start with you. Me and her met at a nightclub. You know, as you can tell, she's a beautiful young woman, you know, light skin, long hair, you know. <laughs> And, um, I don't know what the complexion has to do with it. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey, unless hey. you, unless you color struck. Hey, no, it's just my preference. Mm -hmm. That's what they call it, color struck. When, yeah, when uh, <laughs> Af African American folks have this thing about skin color, uh -huh. color struck. I like them all, Judge. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Go ahead. Well, yeah, uh, we met at a, at a nightclub, and uh, I should have took the warning signs early. Uh, we met. I seen on the dance floor, we had a dance. I bought her a drink, you know, we had a good time that night. Um, towards the end of the club, uh, when, was, when the club was about over, uh, 15 minutes later, after she gave me her number, she giving her number to another dude right beside me. You know what I mean? So, that was a bad sign. Yeah, that was a bad sign. But because, you know, I was color struck, as you say, <laughs> I, I still wanted to talk to her. I like, just I gotta have her, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? So. That's what I did. So we dated for a while. We uh, spent a lot of time together. She supported me with everything I did. I tried to support her. What do you do? Uh, well, right now I'm in grad school and I coach an AAU basketball Excellent. team. So. Excellent. Good to hear that. Glad to hear that. Yeah. All right. And you want to give me some background? Yes. What happened was... 30 nope, minutes. That's not how you say that, man. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. What, what occurred, happened was. What occurred was. <laughs> <laughs> what occurred was, he is correct. I will admit, 30 minutes after giving him my phone number, I did see another gentleman who I liked and gave him my number also. You like better than him? Or you were confused I at that I actually like Troy better than him, but obviously, because I started dating Troy. But you're playing the odds. <laughs> well, yeah. That's How right. you going to get the fish That's if right. you don't put any bait out there? That's right. <laughs> no, I got it. Go ahead. During the relationship, I was very open. I invited Troy to my home. Like he said, we would go out. We would have dates. Everything was going just fine. Even when we would go out, he would talk to other girls. I didn't have a problem with it. It's just his own insecurity issues. I feel as if he has some deep-seated trust issues that you need to get worked out before you get into another Why? relationship. What was he doing? Because he would just make comments as, don't think that you're a step ahead of me. And if I would, I even went out one night and I was talking to my ex and he was, we got home. He was like, who was that guy you were talking to? That just wasn't right. I was honest. I told him it was an ex. That was it. So he noticed you were talking to this guy in a different way than you talk to strangers, and sure enough, now we know why. Exactly. You would dance with other girls. <laughs> exactly. I was talking. He would grind up on other girls. All right. He was grinding and you were talking. You're more innocent. You're right. Yes. Let's get to the airplane tickets you're suing for. What happened? All right. Uh, well, like you say, we dated. Um, we got to know each other, we hit it off, you know. My birthday came up, she was like, okay, baby, I wanna take you out of town for your birthday. She had recommended Virginia Beach at first, and I was like, well, I don't wanna go to Virginia Beach. If Why? you want somewhere for my birthday, I wanna go somewhere I wanna go. I wanna go to Miami. And I was just trying to be nice. Let's go right. somewhere Right, go quick, ahead. Up the street. No, he wanna go to Miami. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> so, so she booked the flight through Priceline as a, a package deal or whatever. And um, after she booked the flight, um, I gave her the two hundred and forty dollars for the tickets for my ticket and hers, and um, like uh, a week before we were supposed to fly out, this is basically why I'm suing her. A week before we were supposed to fly out, um, we went to the club together. I get to her house. Um, there's some flowers on the front door, so I ain't say nothing. I just go in the house and I was like, I ain't gonna say nothing about it. I go in the house. I wait for her to get. You walk past the flowers yeah, and didn't even flowers. say a thing. I, I walk past the flowers. You're you know, good. Go them. ahead. Get in the house. I wait for her to get dressed and stuff like that. Was getting ready to go. I was like, you know, you got some flowers outside. She was like, I oh, know I don't. I was like, nah, for real, you got some flowers outside. Go see where they from. 
So she go out there, get the flowers. They from her ex-boyfriend. All right. I ain't get mad about it. I was like, I can't control what nobody else do. You know, so I let that slide. But at the same time, I'm like, that was your one strike. Don't mess up no more the rest of the night. That's in my head. Right. Well, that in my head. For me. In, in I didn't my head, that's what, I, that's what I'm saying. You did. You let him on. Yeah. That's why he said it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, you know, I was like, I ain't going to say nothing about it. Good man here, man. Working yeah. on his master's, yeah. helping youth in the inner city. Yeah. What this other ex do? What does he do? He works as a revenue officer. But he, oh, Tatsy? Yeah. <laughs> revenue officer. Taking folks' money. <laughs> <laughs> you want to choose an IRS agent <laughs> over a good man that helps you. Yeah. Like, you know, you got some flowers outside. They from her ex-boyfriend. I ain't get mad about it, you know? So I let that slide. But at the same time, I'm like, that was just one strike. Don't mess up no more the rest of the night. How in my head. How's that in my head. for me? In I didn't my head, that's what, I, that's what I'm did. saying. You did. You let him on. That's why he said it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Defendant Leah Fowler is being sued by her ex-boyfriend, who claims on the night they met, Leah gave her number to another man 15 minutes after giving her number to the plaintiff. Go ahead. We go out to the club. We get there. Like I say, she, I seen her talking to her ex at the club. That was, this was this night. This was the Sunday before we were supposed to leave. And so she gets to the club knowing that this man has left flowers. That was a different guy. What? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a different guy. You something else. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. All right. So that was the second thing, Joe. Yeah. That was the second thing. So I'm like, all right, now. So I go get me a drink. I come back from getting me a drink. She was like, well, all right, I'm about to go upstairs with my friends. I was like, well, I'm with you. I'm about to go upstairs with you. She was like, um, you got to have a band to go upstairs. Yeah. I was like, so you're going to tell me you're going to go in the VIP station full of dudes and leave me down here, on the, you know what I'm saying, downstairs by myself? She was like, oh, don't act like that. I just want to have fun with my friends. So I was like, go ahead, go with your friends or whatever. So she go upstairs in the VIP session. And what I did is I went on the dance floor. I ain't going to lie, I went on the dance floor and I started dancing with girls. That's what I did. She came down there and grabbed me. We went home. Grabs you? Yeah, yeah. She grabbed me. She took me away from dancing from the girls or whatever. So <laughs> she came up out that VIP section. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah. She came up out that VIP section. That's right. <laughs> So, yeah, so we go home now. After all that occurred, now I'm, I'm kind of mad, Joe. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm kind of mad. So we go home. I don't say nothing to her the rest of the night. So early the next morning, I woke up and I left. And she was like, well, why are you leaving so early? We didn't get to spend no quality time together. I was like, well, you spent your quality time in VIP last night. You know what I mean? So, so, that's, so I left early the next morning, and she got mad. And basically, she got mad because I ain't put the hammerhead down on. So... <laughs> <laughs> I think he was talking about. I think he's talking about fixing the cabinet. Yeah, 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 yeah. The hammer, yeah, yeah. Fixing the cabinets yeah. at the house. All right. So she got mad because you wouldn't fix her cabinets. Yeah, at I, ain't, the house. I ain't want to fix her cabinets. All right. Fix yeah. her cabinets. All right. I ain't want. I ain't want to do no cabinet work. Uh, please. So is that when you all stopped seeing each other? Yeah, so that, so that was, like I said, this was the this was Sunday, the day before mm -hmm. Memorial Day. So we were supposed to leave to go out to Miami that Saturday. Mm -hmm. So I ain't talked to her no, no more the rest of that day. So the next day, you know, I contacted her or whatever. And um, so she gets mad. And she gets mad. She said, the trip is canceled. So I was like, OK, well, can you get your money back for the room? She was like, I can get the money back for the room. I was like, well, can I get my money back for the plane tickets? She was like, no, the plane tickets are non-refundable. I was like, well, all right. I go by myself, or, or can you can you get your name changed to my friend name, and we can go down there. We we'll, I'll buy me a room or whatever. I'm still gonna go. Like this is my birthday. I didn't already put two hundred and forty dollars on the plane ticket. I'm still trying to go. So she don't want to answer the phone right now. She don't want to answer the phone. She don't want to answer text. She don't want to do none of that. This is Tuesday. Wednesday go by the same thing. So Thursday, early Thursday morning. I ain't gonna lie. I woke up early in the morning, about five o'clock in the morning. Woke up, drove to her house, and at 6 o'clock, I'm knocking on her door. I was like, you had to come out here and talk to me about the plane ticket. Mm -hmm. She don't want to come to the door. So I went to, and I'm knocking respectfully. I'm not beating on her door or nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm you knocking were beating on my door okay. and my bedroom window. Oh, so I, I, went, I, went to, I went to her bedroom window. I knocked on the window. 
She still don't want to come to the window, to come to the door. I seen some lights come on in the house. So mm-hmm. as on, I still as gotta get to work as, and get ready. As, 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 yeah. I, so, One lucky don't as, stop no show. That's enough, man. Yeah. So as 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 um as I'm going back to the front of the house for some odd reason, her power breaker is on the side of her house or whatever. So I ain't gonna lie, I went over there and cut the whole power off in the house. <laughs> <laughs> You can't get ready in the dark. You can't get ready for work I'm in the dark. I'm trying to go to work and you want to cut my power Let's off. Let's get to the tickets. Yeah, sir. so, all right, so I cut the power off. So she called the police. Police come. I told them why I'm there. I was like, told them about the tickets, whatever. They go in there and talk to her. They was like, um, well, she said that she ain't gonna give you no money for the tickets or she ain't gonna change the name. I'm like, okay, whatever. I'll go by myself. I got a friend that stay in Florida. I was gonna go stay with him for the weekend. What happened? I called to check on the plane tickets as I'm driving to Myrtle Beach to catch my flight. And the plane, the plane people tell me that uh, she canceled the tickets yesterday. Oh, and didn't give you your money and didn't back. Didn't give me my money Ma'am? back. What occurred was. <laughs> <laughs> I told him the trip is canceled. It's a package deal that was purchased. You told him that the trip was canceled then? Yes. And he agreed to it? Yes. All right, and then you also said it's refundable or non-refundable? I let him know that his portion that he paid for, which was the plane tickets, was non-refundable. Did he know that when he gave you the money? Yes, he did. All right. So I left early the next morning and she got mad. And basically, she got mad because I ain't put the hammerhead down on. So. <laughs> I think he was talking about. I think he was talking about fixing the cabinet. Yeah, 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 yeah. The hammer, yeah. Defendant Leah Fowler is being sued by her ex boyfriend, who claims on the night they met, Leah gave her number to another man. 15 minutes after giving her number to the plaintiff. Did you let him know before you canceled it? Yes. That's a lie. And he agreed to allow you to cancel it? Correct. How can you cancel something that he still wanted to go on? It was a, it was a package deal. So my portion of the hotel, which was when, in mm-hmm. my name that I paid for, mm-hmm. had... Yeah, you can cancel that, yes, right. But, but the, was, the that... plane tickets, which he paid for, how can you cancel that? It's together. When I purchased the hotel, I also purchased the plane tickets mm-hmm. at the same time. And you can't cancel one without the other. That's what you're telling me? Yes. All right. Sir, yeah, you know this anything is, different? Yeah, this is the itinerary. And I like see. I say, she didn't cancel the flight until the day before. The, the trip was already All right. Can- she says that's yeah, not true. It. What month does it say it was canceled, sir? I see two I don't, dates. I don't think it got the date on it of when okay. it was canceled. Right It'll here, be, it has proof. it on my bank statement where mm-hmm. they refunded me on the 30th. And you canceled it on the 30th, you say? Correct. Of May? Yes, on May 30th, there's a credit there. Okay. I also so you t- received a credit? Yes, for the for portion what? of the hotel, because that portion okay. was So the hotel was refundable? Yes, sir. But the airline ticket wasn't? Correct. I thought they both went together. So if they both went together, both would be non-refundable. The hotel let it you refund, but the airline would not. All right, they go together, though. In their policy, it says that they cannot be separated. Right, whenever and you're telling you're me they were, though. No, it can't be separated when you're refunding it. Right, but one was refunded and the other one wasn't. Correct. So they are separated. You just defined something that was separate. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what you did. $240 is your judgment. I'll grant you your judgment based on what I've heard. How good is that? I'm happy with the judgment. Because you broke my... and you got some more money. That's why you happy about it. I ain't had to have money to get you. Yes, you through. did. I got you for free. Uh, and look how long you kept me. Yeah, you couldn't I satisfy can't... me. Exactly. Well, yeah, you were bum, but, yeah, you, but yeah. you came here for $240. I did. Exactly. So get and your get car fixed. Money. Get, get your car money. fixed. Get, get some cable in your house. Car. Get some internet. Well. Please.